I'm gonna do a really quick rustic angel ornament this morning and this is gonna be a rustic angel ornament and I was just playing with it some last night so remember I had this from the other night I made that burlap and um, fabric banner um, and so we're gonna use this again and I'm I'm not measuring I'm just I'm just gonna eyeball it I'm gonna say probably about six inches Thanks for all the hearts. Yeah, and if you wanna go ahead and pass me on, go ahead and pass me on too. I appreciate that, that really helps. So let's go ahead and I am going to cut. It's about six inches. Now the secret for cutting burlap is you wanna make sure you stay between the strings. Otherwise you're gonna get a lot of short strings, which burlap does fray anyhow, and that's why I like burlap. And I have my fan going too. A lot of people know that I seem like I'm allergic to burlap and jute. And um, if the fan's going, it seems to help me. So we're doing that. All right, so I cut about a six inch strip. Oh, thank you for all the hearts. I appreciate it. That's amazing. You people are amazing. You're gonna make me cry. All right, so let's, I, and then I'm gonna fold it in half. I only need half of one. So again, I'm not really measuring. That's my measuring, fold it in half. <laughs> All right, so that's what we're gonna use. And then this has a end, sewn end. I wanna cut that off because I want it to be the same, being able to fray all the way around. It's not gonna fray a lot, this project, because we're not doing a lot with it, but it's gonna fray some. All right, so next is I have um, a bead. I'm sorry, I can't tell you the size of this bead. Can you just tell from me holding it up? But it's got the large hole in. So I'm using jute. I'm not unwrapping it though. Um, this is a twisted jute that I normally unwrap. I'm not going to wrap it. And I'm not measuring again. I'm, I'm going about yay long. Right? This is a non-measuring craft. Okay. And what I'm going to do is fold it in half. All right, so all I'm gonna do is fold this together. Okay, should I tell you what I did? I folded it in half. I need to get my head in this game, okay? It's not gonna be a long project, trust me. All right, and I, I put it through through the hole, okay? Normally this could be your hanger, but that's not gonna be my hanger today. My hanger is gonna be this size. So I'm going to just take this and I'm gonna feed it through, and I want the folded side up by the bead. But once you get it in here, you can always turn it. Okay, got that. Now I'm just gonna pull it tight. And look at it, that's already, you can see the start already. Isn't that cute? All right, so I'm gonna tie a little knot up here just to try and hold it tight. Now I will end up putting some glue on both sides. So that's the start of our little angel. This is a quick and easy angel ornament. It's so easy, but cute, cute, cute. All right, so um, next I'm going to do the wings. And if Diane um, Whalen is on, she sent me a big box of Happy Mail. And that was, I mean, it, it was so sweet. It was crafting supplies, and there was a ton of um, raffia in there. Raffia. I say raffia. Now I say raffia because other people say raffia. I think it sounds more distinguished. We had that conversation before. All right, so I'm just taking, I'm going to take a bunch of this, and I want the long pieces. We're going to make angel wings with this. Good morning, Mary. We all love angels, right? All right, so I, I want to make sure they're long pieces. So I'm taking out some of the shorter pieces. So I think what I'm gonna do to make this, so that I make sure, I want, I want the long pieces. So I'm gonna lay them out here, making sure I have long. It's okay if some of them are a little shorter. I'm just taking a good amount of, oh, that's a short ra raffia. <laughs> I'm gonna say raffia from now on. It's not raffia, it's raffia. I like it that way. 
Oh, thank you for passing it on, uh, Jane and Cindy. I really appreciate it so much. Oh, somebody sent me stars. Linda, thank you. All right, so I've got a good amount. Is that enough? I think I want to, uh, that's probably enough. I probably don't want too much. It's a little angel. And all I'm doing, I'm now some of these are bigger, bigger pieces. So I usually I'll take them and just pull that apart just to make it, it actually makes it look like you have more, but it's not then the big pieces of raffia, raffia. The perfect ornaments. And yes, you can make it with your grandkids. And you know what? I'm doing rustic. You can do this. You could do this with fabric and it wouldn't be rustic. So I'm using burlap. Use fabric and it would make the cutest ornaments and it wouldn't have to be rustic then. Okay. All right. So the way I'm doing, let me see, I want to cut a little piece. I'm just cutting a little piece of um, my jute, just a skinny piece of jute to tie this together. And I'm making a bow. That's all I'm doing. And you know I make simple bows. Um, I start with my hand on one side. I wrap it around. And I've got my fingers spread apart because I want a bigger bow. That's how I judge the size of my bows. Or I might use two fingers. That's how I make my bows. They're so easy. Those are going to be the wings. All right. Okay. So I'm just going to wrap this around. Oh, absolutely. You could do a senior citizen center. All right. So remember random act of kindness. Now that we're in the middle of this a little bit more. Um, all right. So what we're going to do, we're going to go ahead and get going. So I get done. Aren't those the cutest angel wings? All right, so I just want to see if there's a cuter side. It really looks the same on both sides. So I'm just going to go ahead and put a little dab of glue. little dab. We're going to hold this in here a second. Isn't it already cute? I mean, you could just leave it like this and be done. But no, we got to add a little bit more to it. All right, so first we need to give this little angel a halo. I have a bunch of wire. <laughs> I don't know why I have silver and gold together here. Oh, there we go. So we're gonna make the halo out of this wire. Now, I am sorry I can't tell you what ply it is, but it's pliable, <laughs> very pliable. If I can apply it, uh-oh. Do I not have my wire cutter here? Oh, man. <sighs> I thought I had it here. I'm not going to use my scissor. I'll be I'll be right back. This is too thick for that. You know me, I do that all the time. Just talk amongst each other when I go and run and forget. All right. So, all I'm going to do for the angel halo is I'm just going to wrap this. I mean, it bends so easily. And I'm going to actually do, I think, a couple times. It's not going to be a single angel. This is a beautiful angel. She, she got her wings. She got her halo. She got a double halo. She was a sweet angel. All right, so we're doing two. And then we're going to bend this down some. Let's do, just play with it. Like I said, this one is so pliable. I wish I could tell you what kind and where I got it. I don't know. I got it from my basement. <laughs> so, but I'm sure if you go in Hobby Lobby or someplace like that, just, just look. You'll find something. All right. And then we're just going to fold this one down because we're going to stick this in her head. Oh, it's going to be one of those days. I was trying to be kind. Of, just open it. Yep. Opening doors. Um, when you're at a store, ask them if, if somebody looks like they're struggling to, you know, especially the ones that have to ride in the little carts, you know, just ask them, do you need help grabbing something? You know, there, that happens a lot, actually. All right, so this is going to be stuck in her head. 
and that's going to be her in her halo. So now she's stuck on my raffia. All right, so I'm just going to put a little bit of glue in there. So she'll. Okay, isn't that just cute? Cute. That's so she's a double halo angel. Now let's just finish it up. We don't have much more. We are going to take. I'm gonna take another little piece of my jute, because I'm using that for ties. Thank you, thank you. All those hearts again. Man, I really do think somebody was stuck there. All right, I'm doing another simple little bowl. Now, I'm just using this, I don't know. I'm thinking this is from Hobby Lobby. It's a jumbo roll, 30 feet but it's such a thin i'm just using brown use any color any color at all um so and i'm gonna do my simple little bow again um i'm just using two fingers because i want a little bow this is how i do my bows they're just i might spread my fingers apart a little bit yeah maybe we will i probably this should be a three finger bow and i'm just gonna wrap it around several times And cut it off and we got our bow find my string oh, can you even see what I'm doing I'm sorry all I did was take the jute and tie that bow then all right and now this is not a wired bow but you can still play with it a little. You can pull this out a little bit. Just uh, spread them out. If your fingers work okay, mine aren't working that well right now. All right, so I'm just pulling that apart a little bit and separating them. Do it on this side, and then we're gonna separate. Even though it's a thin jute, we can separate this jute. You know what I do on the large? We're gonna do it on this one too. Okay, I think I'm gonna cut them a little shorter. But I separate my jute a lot, I say I do. We're going to separate this one. I know what it can do it. Yes, she's adorable, rustic thing. Um, like I say, you can make it so it's not rustic. Use other fabric. Don't use burlap. Use string. Oh, gosh, this is not coming apart very good, but it comes apart. I know it does. There we go. We'll do a little bit. Just to get that little bit frayed. Of course, you know I have to do that. There we go. That one went a little easy. All right, so... We got this bowl. I just want, I want all these to end up coming down this way. Hello, Maria. Oh, it'd be beautiful with lace too. You can use anything. I mean, you can switch up this bowl. You can do lace instead of, so if you do um, fabric, use lace as the wings. Oh yeah, absolutely. There's so many things you can do with this. Oh, thank you for the stars. Well, Gianna Rose, hello. I think you're one of my youngest viewers. All right, so I just want these to stay down. We're going to put her little bow in the front here. I got a little bit of glue on that bow. That's all right. Okay, we're going to do that. Isn't that just cute? Um, now, I've got this little wood star button. I think you get these at Walmart um, or Hobby Lobby. You, you get them usually, I think, on a card with a bunch of them. I'm also going to use a little button, of course. Thank you, Cindy. So... I'm just going to use, uh, it's not going to be too fancy of a button. I'm just going to use one uh, that's lighter so that it stands out. Just this 
favorite favorite jar of buttons and we're going to put that right on the bowl just to finish her off a little bit okay and then I my thought is is just to put just to put a little extra little decoration we're going to put that star on there all right and then we're done isn't that cute and easy after bad internet connection after um just forgetting my wire cutter not being able to separate my jute it still turned out cute all right so now this will be your hanger you just tie a little knot up here so i'm just tying that as a little knot if you want to make sure that it stays together you might want to put just a little bit of dab of glue on but isn't she just cute you can do that and you can do it with fabric and lace there's so many different things you can do to this if you didn't see how we put this together go back and watch in the beginning it was so fast and easy i hope you really really like her 